motorbike. This is part two, the back nine of Luton Hoo. The actual front nine, as we paid the back nine first. Still making a double boogle, don't like it. Come on. Please go in. Welcome back to the channel. Right, this is part two, the back nine of Luton Hoo. The actual front nine, as we paid the back nine first. It was hard work. Uh, and now we're going to try and make a little bit easier work of this front nine. So hole one, 444 yards, straight into the wind off the blue tees. Stroke index one into wind, fun and games. Let's see if we can start off a par. Boom! Lovely. Let's go. Be a good drive. It's not gone very far. Again, no run. I've got 178 to the pin. So, it's probably playing close to 190. I think this is just a full six iron for me. Starting right of it. I'm gonna try and, I'm actually gonna try and draw this one into it. Feeling a bit adventurous. Be lovely to start of a birdie, wouldn't it? Come on, be good. Look at the flag. Be good. Oh, it's just over the back. I mean, that was a golf shot, I'll be honest. That was such a good shot. Punch draw. I think it's just gone over the back of the green, but we'll take it. Got a little chip and run down the green here. After like the exceptional chip on the last, <laughs> might be able to do it again. So this one's different. I've got so much green to work with. Not the best lie. I'm gonna go less loft. I'm gonna go pitching wedge. And I'm just gonna get this, you know, just started like a putt. Don't need anything crazy here. I'm just get it running at the hole and you never know. You just never know in this game. Please go in. He's done it again. He's done it again. I called it. We're on the par. Let's go. <laughs> How am I on the par today? Come on. Literally, what a game of two halves so far. But I would say, as I say to a lot of my clients, watching me plus two handicap on paper, so underwhelming. There's so many ways to make a score. You've just got to stay in it and try and not compound errors and take your chances when you get them. That would be the best piece of advice that I have for someone. People think plus two handicap is gonna be all pretty long drives. No, you can scab it round and it's just, it's hard work, but someone's gotta do it. Par five, second hole, we've got 516 into the wind. It's a good chance. If it wasn't into the wind, it'd be a better chance, but let's try and hit a good drive down there. Yep, straight. Shouldn't run out today with this wind. Miles away, 260. Again, another, another, this would call for a driver off the deck, but with this hill in the way and that lie, there's no way. And I still, I think three wood off the deck is questionable. I'm gonna put the club behind it, just get a feel, see if I like it or not. I don't like it at all. It's not gonna launch off that lie. It's gonna hit this slope. So I'm gonna to have to lay it up to a ladder drill number. So I'm gonna hit five iron, try and leave myself about 60 yards, which I don't like doing on par fives, but I have to. A Little bit heavy, didn't love the lie, but it's gonna be fine. After hitting a, a, a fat five iron, slightly fat five iron, We've left ourselves 96 yards. It's a good number for me. It's a, it's a full 58, slightly below. Again, we haven't got the best of lies. Keep drawing, you know, slightly bare lies. But we're gonna, we're gonna commit to this, I think. Slightly downwind. Yeah, all right. Come on. Oh, I thinned it. Didn't it? I hated the lie. Someone get lucky, hit the back. Oh no. 
Oh no, I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. I can't even look at the camera. I can only apologise to anyone who's got this far. Let's go. Oh my, that is not fun. Right, we are miles and miles long. We've got nothing. So the percentage play, every part of me here is thinking, hit like an eight iron into the bottom of this bank and trundle it over and make at worst six. And then my YouTube brain is thinking, get the 58 out and send it up your nose and hope for the best. So we're going for that one. Oh, it's come out like an absolute rocket. It's come out like an absolute rocket. Making it hard work again. I'm making it hard work again. We're playing ping pong with the green. I mean, we're getting so excited on the last hole, and now we're going to make. Well, I'm not chipping. Never know. What a hard game. Golf is a game of inches. Right, so now playing. This is for five. It'd be lovely to hold it. We're going to we've got 58, we're going to try and almost cut the teeth from under it, so I'm going to feel like I'm almost working across this one with an open club face. Land it somewhere around here is the plan. And then it's going to be a little bit right to left at the hole, so... Again, this game is hard, but just keep grinding. Give every shot 100%. Flew it a little bit too far. You can see I landed it on the green where I was trying to land it a bit short. It was a good shot. It was a good shot. <laughs> Double bogey. We've gone from one under to one over in the blink of an eye. Let's go. Right, hole three after making a double boogley. Don't like it. 367 yards off this tee. It's gonna be a driver. Let's try and bounce back with a good one. Let's go. Beautiful. Driver's been very good. We ended up on this bank. I actually had a really good tee shot there. Didn't think it was gonna end up here, but we've got 93 yards pretty much the same number as I knifed it on the last, but we've got a better lie sitting up a bit. Let's see if we can absolutely flag one now. Oh my, push. Pushed it, pushed it, might catch a little piece if I'm lucky, but I think I'm in the first cut to the right. Always on these upslopes, worth noting. On that particular one, I felt myself kind of fall back because gravity's pulling me this way. For me, it's really important. I stay, when I hit my best shots, I stay into the slope and almost hit like a punch shot to help me get ball first, but also to keep it on line. That particular one, I kind of fell back and could feel the face kind of opening up and sending it high and right. So I'd probably expect that to be short as well because it went a bit higher than I wanted it. The chipping's been good to us so far today, so. See if we can make another one. So we've got a little bit of a down slope. It's going to come out a little bit lower. Similar to the last one where it's right to left on the green. Again, I'm going to hit 58 here, back foot. I feel like landing it around here and then just running it out to the hole. And seeing if it can just go in the hole right to left. Lovely. No words, no words. Par onto the next. Damn, that was close. Fourth hole at Luton Hoo, great par three. 167 to the pin, slightly downhill, probably two or three yards. I don't really know what the wind's doing. It feels like it's slightly into me. I'm going to hit a flighted shot just because I'm not sure. So when I don't know what the wind's doing, I like to keep it kind of under it. But I do feel, if anything, it's probably slightly into me. So I'm going 7-iron, which I usually hit 180. But I've got a 
sort of 165 punch shot. I'm gonna go with that one. Wind's definitely out of the right. It'd be lovely to make birdie here. Oh, please be good. Keep drawing, keep drawing. Oh, it's a great golf shot. It's a great shot. We're about 15, 20 feet right of it. I'm very happy with that. It probably had about 12 yards of curve on that, maybe more. Love a little sling. Come on. We've hit a good shot there. We've hit a good iron shot. What have we got? Maybe 10, 12 feet here. It's a good chance. Right to left. Come on, we need this. We need to get back on the right side. Please go in. Please go in. We're going to ball outside right. Slightly uphill, so we're going to keep this one positive. I'm going to look the other side. I'm taking it serious. That's the perfect read. It's the perfect read. Come on. What a putt. We're back. Level. How am I level? What a terrible level par this is. I mean, it's so up and down. This is why I'm a coach, to be honest, because this is so tiring. So tiring. Come on in. Off a of birdie, 400 yards, into the wind, out of the right. Come on, Chris. How much do you want it now? That's the question. Right, come on in. Good tee shot. Come on, bit between your teeth, Chris. Let's go. There's a little bit of a miss hit on the tee shot, but it's in play. Got 158. Same wind as the last par three, which was 167. So in theory, it's one less club, same shot. We're going eight iron. We're gonna go punch draw, because it worked on the last one. Same shot, come on in. Ah, I've overdrawn it. Catch a piece. Catch a piece. It's caught a piece. I mean, this is not a fun part. It's gonna come in sideways over this ridge here. Downhill, swinging to the right. I'm leaving the pin in because it will probably be carrying some speed. Hopefully it doesn't, but it might be. Don't comment on that. Please don't comment on that. No! You work so hard and then you give it back. Hate golf, man, every time. How the hell am I, oh, how am I back over par? I actually hit a good putt there as well. I've just seen like loads of, I feel like that is a massive slope and it's just stayed straight. One over again. <sighs> Disappointed after that one. Disappointed. I didn't hit a bad putt, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can bounce back again. Keep showing resilience. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 147. Another mud ball. Right, let's think about this. Wind behind me, 147. Again, I can't go long of a wedge. It's that same shot. I don't think it reaches it. Yeah, I'm going wedge. Right. Let's go. Please be good. Please be good. Please. Oh. I think I've airmailed the green. What? I feel like I've airmailed the green from 147 with a wedge. I mean, I hit it good, but... So, I didn't think I'd be lasering for my next shot. We've literally flown it about three yards too long, a little bit of a gust of wind, and now we are 41 yards behind the pin. Not a great lie. I don't like this shot. I'm not playing this club. I'll be back. I don't like the line, I just think I've got to get it running over this hill. Oh, 
Come on, Chris, let's pull off a worldie. I think it's short. I've played it well. I think it's just a little bit short. Ah! Chipping for par. Back to the 58. Be lovely to chip this in. Oh! My word! It's another bogey. It's another bogey. We're two over par. We're two over par. On hole seven, we're two over. We need to at least shoot level par. Two birdies in the last three. We've got 160. It's been a very difficult day for me. It's been a very difficult day. But let's see if we can finish well. So I'm gonna go, I've got, one, I've got an eight iron here, which I hit further than 160. But I feel like I just wanna flight one and try and get a bit of control. I just see, it's downwind though. I'm gonna hit nine iron. I'm talking myself out of it. But today has been hard work so far. And we're gonna hold in one right now. That's what we're gonna do. Go. It's a good shot. It's a very good shot. It's maybe 10, 12 feet right of it. We've got a chance. Let's bounce back. Come on, let's bounce back. But I'm going same read, which was ball outside right and trust it. And that's it. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It's not your day, Chris. Look where it's finished. It's finished left of the hole. <laughs> it's not your day. It's not your day. Oh my God. I'm holding it in. I want to get angry, but there's a camera on me, so I can't. Hole eight, par five, 550 odd yards off this tee, into the wind. Not going to be reachable today. So let's just try and get it in play. Leave yourself a nice number and try and make birdie the hard way. Straight and spinny. Let's go. We're going DOD. We've tried it once and so far it wasn't great, but today on this hole, there's only one shot. We can't get to the green but I do feel comfortable with this shot. I'm hoping to hit a nice little bullet cut up there. Oh, I fatted it again. It's dead straight again. Fell off the hill, fell back, didn't get through it. Oh well, let's go. Still got a chance to get to the green in three. <sighs> right, so we have 104 yards. Obviously we fatted that driver. Slope put me off, but we've still got a chance. It's D-Day, we need a birdie. We need to finish birdie, birdie for level par. So we're into the wind 104. Got a 50 degree here. I've got a 110 yard shot of it, which is a back foot sort of chest to chest swing. I'm gonna go with that. See if we can hold it. Oh, please be good. Please be good. Spinning. Oh, I tried to land it past it with spin. I mean, I've hit it so good. Oh man, that was so close. So close. The divot's halfway. We're doing our best with the divots. I think I actually replaced the wrong divot there. Let me get the other one. <laughs> Didn't have any spin on it. Right, we've got a chance for the birdie. We need this putt. We need this putt. Come on, just give me a half decent roll, good pace. Oh wow. It went so far right in the middle. 
I hit a good putt. It's a par, two over of one to go. It's not looking good. We're definitely not shooting under par. Looks like we're shooting over par. 375 yards, big tree in the way. We are two over par. It has not been a pretty day, but this is golf. This is golf. And, you know, I play off plus two and today has been very, very hard work up and down, but I'm determined to show you good, bad and ugly. Um, worth mentioning, thank you very much to Craig, Jack and the team here at Luton Who for hosting me um, and giving me beautiful hospitality. Shame I couldn't give them beautiful golf. Let's see if we can finish with a birdie. Not enough draw, left it to the right. But we're fine, we're fine. Always fearful of the hook, so. But we've got 128. I feel like it's slightly downwind. I mean, it's not the best lie, but it's not terrible. I'm gonna smash a 50. My 50 goes about, one, if I hit it hard, about 124. So I'm just gonna smash a 50. And we just wanna, we just wanna finish with a birdie, really. So let's just go full commitment with this and see how we go. All right, that's all I got. That's all I got on a 50. Just a bit right of the pin, I'm hoping pin eye. It can't be long cannot be long. So let's hope for a birdie putt to finish this round, which has been so hard. A few yards long, uphill putt, left to right, definitely. Putt to finish at one over par, which to be honest, I'd be quite happy with considering I have felt so out of control. In so well, after my tee shots, my tee shots have been pretty good. Just the rest of it. <sighs> Not today, Chris. Not today. We gave every shot 100% and we signed for a two over par round of golf. There was no run. It was off the back tees. I did not have my even C game but it shows you that golf is hard, it's up and down. You've just got to keep grinding to the end because you never know what's around the corner. There was some chip-ins, there were some really bad golf shots. Uh, overall, we ended up with plus two. Thank you very much to Lou and Who. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.